Zika is a virus spread by mosquitoes, and it's currently spreading through much of Latin America and the Caribbean and parts of the Pacific. It is spread by the bite of an infected mosquito of a particular species, Aedes aegypti. While the overwhelming majority of Zika cases are spread by mosquitoes, in rare isolated cases we have seen blood transfusion or sexually transmitted Zika infections. Zika is usually asymptomatic. 80% of the people who get it don't even know they have it. Uh, one out of five will have mild symptoms, rash, joint pains, uh, fever, sometimes a red eye or conjunctivitis, uh, but usually it resolves within a few days or a week at most. In occasional cases, it appears to be related to this complication of Guillain-Barre syndrome, but the big concern here is for the fetal malformation of microcephaly, which we're seeing in infants whose mothers had Zika, and which we at the CDC laboratories have identified in the brain tissue of infants who tragically died from the Zika infection. We've recommended now that pregnant women who have traveled to a place that has Zika spreading be tested for Zika to the extent possible with uh, depending on how likely it is that they may have been exposed and how available the blood test is. And we've also recommended that the male sexual partners of women who are pregnant use a condom for the duration of the pregnancy or abstain unless they can be tested and ruled out as having Zika. We advise women who are not pregnant to consult their clinician, their doctor or other provider, to discuss whether they'll be traveling to a place that may have Zika spreading and to discuss the potential risk of sexual transmission of Zika. Bottom line, if you're pregnant, don't go to a place that has Zika spreading. If you're there, if you live in such a place, by all means, use mosquito repellent, long sleeves, permethrin-treated clothing, and if possible, stay indoors, ideally in air conditioning or at least with screens. It's important to remember that the likelihood that someone gets Zika depends on how long they were in a place where Zika was spreading, how much Zika was spreading at that time, and how many mosquitoes they got bitten by. So it's an individual assessment of the potential risk. Fighting Zika isn't going to be quick and it isn't going to be easy. The mosquitoes and nature in general are a formidable adversary. Unfortunately, we are undoubtedly going to see many more travelers coming back to the U.S. with Zika infection. 